Hey everyone, this is Mark from Red Arrow Industries, and today I'm going to go over how you can track a title inside Boris Red, an avid media composer. So I have this shot of sticky notes with happy and sad faces on them. And yes, my artwork is often compared to Van Gogh. First, drag and drop the Boris Red filter onto the clip and open up Boris Red. Then, right clicking on the timeline window, go to New Filter, Motion, and then select the Motion Tracker. Click on the little TV icon on your motion tracker layer, which will bring up the preview track tab showing the tracker box. Line up the very center dot of this box with the point you want to be tracked. Try and find an area in your clip that has a nice contrast in color or some sort of sharp edge that'll help the tracker as it follows the point each frame. The outer two boxes represent the search area that the box will look for your point within each frame. So if there's a big move making the point drastically shift position after a frame, make them a bit larger. But be aware, the larger your search area, the longer it'll take to track. After you set the tracker box, simply select the somewhat oddly placed Analyzed Motion Tracker button. Alright, it looks like it successfully tracked our point. If the path seems jagged, or if you notice it stopped tracking your point midway through, Try expanding the search area, or possibly looking for a different point altogether. Next, I'll do the same thing for the sad face. Once you get that set, it's time to add our text layers. One will say happy, the other, sad. I know, so original, right? Making sure I'm on the first keyframe of my text layers, I'll then position these sort of inside the sticky notes, right above the faces. Now, drop the first motion tracker inside the base of the happy title layer, and then do the same for the second motion tracker and the sad title layer. When I go to preview this now, you'll see that both my texts are tracked with the shot. This is just a silly way to show this effect off, but there are tons of opportunities where you can use this to create really cool, smooth titles for your project. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial, comment below. And if this tutorial helped you out, make sure to hit that subscribe button, then check us out on our Facebook page, Red Arrow Industries, or at our website at redarrowindustries.com.